Hello. In this video I'm going to show you a cloud service that provides two gigabytes of free storage space called Dropbox. Dropbox is useful for file sharing, accessing documents from any location without needing external devices such as a flash drive, and it's also great for backup storage. If anything would happen to your computer, your important files and folders would still be accessible through the Dropbox website. And I'm going to begin by opening a web browser. And in the search box, I'm going to type in Dropbox. And I'm going to click the install link. Next, I'm going to click the free download button. Since I'm in Firefox, I'm going to save the file. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to double click on it to open it, and then I'm going to run it. When the setup wizard appears, I'm going to click install. It's asking if I have an account or not, and I already do, but I'm going to leave the I don't have a Dropbox account checked, and I'm going to click next. Next, you have to fill in some information. Here you have to give your email address and you have to give your email password. Here it's telling me I have 2 gigabytes of free space and it's giving me the option to upgrade to 50 gigabytes for $9.99 a month or 100 gigabytes for $19.99 a month. And I'm going to click next. There's two setup types. There's typical and advanced. Typical will sync all your folders in your libraries. Advanced lets you be more selective of the folders that are synced and I'm going to click advanced. And then I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave the default location for the folder checked and I'm going to click next. For selective sync, I'm going to check the I want to use selective sync to choose which folder sync to this computer and I'm going to click the selective sync button. And I'm going to uncheck the folders that I don't want to be synced. And then I'm going to click update. And then next I'm going to click install. I'm going to skip the tour for now. I'm going to leave the open my Dropbox folder now checkbox checked and I'm going to click finish. Or in the lower left hand corner it's telling me the computer is now linked to Dropbox and files in your Dropbox folder automatically sync and back up online. This is my Dropbox folder and these are the folders that I already have in the Dropbox folder and right now the blue circle means they're syncing. If they were already synced they'd have a green circle with a white check mark. The Dropbox folder is automatically placed under your favorites for easy access. If you're in your documents and need to get to Dropbox, you can just click on it and you're in Dropbox. Next, I'm going to go to the Dropbox website and I'm going to sign in. And this is my Dropbox account and these are all the folders that are syncing right now. And I'm going to go to the Get Started page. On the Get Started page, it tells me I'm one step away from a 250 megabyte bonus. And all you have to do is complete five of the seven steps here. So far, I quickly skipped through the tour. I've installed Dropbox on my computer. I already had files in the Dropbox folder from a previous install. And I've already installed Dropbox on another computer. So the next easiest one to do for me would be share a folder with friends or colleagues. So I'm going to go to that. And I'm going to create a new shared folder. Dropbox wants me to verify my email address before I share the folder, so I'm going to say send email. And now it's going to have me go to my email account and verify my email address. And now I've verified my email address, so I'm going to click new shared folder. And you have two choices. You can create and share a new folder or share an existing folder. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it fun. And I'm going to click next. Next you type in the email of the person that you want to share the folder with. And you can also give a personal message. I'm just going to put new folder. And then I'm going to click share folder. Up here at the top it says created share folder fun. And then down at the bottom it says join shared folder. And folder fun is now in your Dropbox. I'm going to go back to get started. And now I have five of the seven steps completed, so I have earned 250 megabytes. Next, I'm going to go to Get Free Space. 
here you can do some simple things to get some more space you can refer a friend to Dropbox you could put in your email address and your password and click retrieve contacts and it'll bring up all your contacts and you can choose who to invite or you can just add an email here and then once you have the email in you just click send invites and I'm going to go back to get free space you can connect to your Facebook account connect to your Twitter account follow Dropbox on Twitter and tell us why you love Dropbox and I'm going to click on tell us why you love Dropbox so I type file sharing easy access from all locations and backup and I'm going to click send to Dropbox and right here it tells me thanks for the feedback I just gained another 125 megabytes of free space and I'm going to go back to my Dropbox home page once your folders are synced to the website if you wanted to access a certain document all you'd have to do is click on the folder and then click on the document that you want to access and it'll open and then you can edit it or print it next I'm going to go to sharing right now it's showing me I have the one shared folder fun but then I could also share more folders if I wanted to you could also create a link to any of the folders send it to somebody and they'll be able to view that folder through that link event shows all the activities in your Dropbox account and that's how you download and install Dropbox get more space add folders and sync your folders to the Dropbox website and like I said it's very useful if for anything for a backup for your important documents or your pictures thank you for watching have a great day